Hello and welcome to another In This Accent series. Today we're doing the video you've all requested. That's right, we're going up north to Scotland. But who exactly are we meeting today? This is Stephen. Stephen's from Glasgow. That means he is a Glaswegian. All right, Anna, how's it going? So before we start looking at the Glaswegian accent, I just want to ask, Stephen, what are you wearing? Well, Anna, I'm wearing the traditional Scottish outfit of a kilt. Right. Uh, that consists of kilt here, the sporin, Bonnie Prince Charlie jacket, and then I've got some flashes just on my socks here. Oh, careful, you, oh. careful, careful. Oh, oh. Can I just ask before you do that, are you a true Scotsman? Of course I'm a true Scotsman, Anna. Right, well maybe you should tell our viewers what that means to be a true Scotsman. To be a true Scotsman, it means you've not got any underwear on underneath your kilt. Right, and so you're not wearing any underwear? No. Good to know. OK, well, let's keep those legs firmly on the floor and standing up straight. So, the Glaswegian accent. First of all, let's look at the individual sounds that may be different between a Glaswegian accent and a standard British English accent. The first sound is the short vowel I. I would say I, but Stephen would say I. 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 So, for example, in words such as in. 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 I'm in love. I'm in love. Winner. 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 He's a winner. He's a winner. Big. 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 It's a big day. It's a big day. It's a big day. It's a big day. Sin. 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 Living in sin. Living in sin. Naughty, naughty. Naughty, naughty. <laughs> in a Glaswegian accent, the R is generally tapped. That means the tongue taps off the roof of the mouth. So, I would say words like bring. And I would say bring. Ooh, that was almost rolled. Is that a good one? Yeah, that was a good one. So, um, I might say bring the beer. And, and you I'd would say bring the beer. Great. And I would say green grass, but Stephen would say... Green grass. Green grass. Green grass. I love to roll in the green grass. I love to roll in the green grass. I bet you do. <laughs> we might also say terrible. 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 My Scottish accent is terrible. Your Scottish accent is terrible. All right. The next sound we're going to look at is the W sound, but specifically when W is followed by an H. In standard British English, we just say W, but in a Glaswegian accent, it's aspirated like this. Wh. <laughs> That's it. So I might say what. And I might say what. What is the matter with you? What is the matter with you? <laughs> Why? Why? Why did you do that? Why did you do that? <laughs> Where? 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 Where did you go? Where did you go? I don't know. Where did you go? I don't know either. <laughs> Great. Next, let's look at the diphthong O. Oh. In standard British English, we have the movement across the vowels O, oh, but in a Glaswegian, it's straighter, like this. O. Oh. So I would say go. And I would say go. And I would say home. And I would say home. Go home. Go home. Go home. Go home. <laughs> Good. And I would say don't. And I would say don't. And I would say no. And I would say no. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And finally, I would say show. Show. Show me the money. Show me the money. The next diphthong we're going to look at is the I diphthong. Again, I move from one vowel to the other. I, I, like in the word kind. But Stephen does... Kind. Which is slightly shorter. That's very kind of you. That's very kind of you. I don't like heights. I don't like heights. I don't like heights. I don't like heights. Fight. Fight. Let's not fight. Let's not fight. We shouldn't fight. We shouldn't fight. Because if we fight, I'd win. I don't think so, because my height 
would be your plate. Oh, 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 oh. okay, <laughs> I'll take that one. The next diphthong is the ow diphthong. So I would say how. And I would say ho. How. How. How do you do? How do you do? I would say out. And I would say out. 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 Are you going out? Are you going out? About. 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 What's it all about? What's it all about? Let's go out and about. Let's go out and about. Great. Another diphthong that we're going to look at is the A diphthong. For example, in the word take. Take. Away. Away. Would you like a takeaway? 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 The next vowel we're looking at is the OO vowel. It's long and tapers off into a slight W sound at the end in standard British English, but in Glaswegian it doesn't. For example, if I say you, you, or if I say who, who, so I could say who are you, and I'd say who are you. So nice and short, through, through, I've gone through it, I've gone through it, so nice and short, lovely. Next, let's look at some of the Scottish dialect that you would hear specifically in Glasgow. So, instead of saying yes and no, what you might hear is... I and no. Yes and no. I and no. When you hear words such as shouldn't, wouldn't, couldn't, haven't, didn't, all those types of words, the nt, the not part of it, has been replaced by ni. So if I said couldn't, Stephen would say... Couldn't Shouldn't. Shouldn't Didn't. Didn't I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I haven't done it. I haven't done it. <laughs> Quite famously, the word little is replaced with... We. Oui. So if I was going to say, I'm going to have a little sip of whiskey, you would say... I'm going to have a wee nip of whiskey. I'm going to have a little sip of whiskey. I'm going to have a wee nip of whiskey. Instead of the word head, you would hear... Heed. Head. Heed. Head the ball. Heed the ball. Head the ball. Heed the ball. <laughs> Notice how he didn't say his dark L's. Ball. Ball. Instead of the word going, you might sometimes hear... Gone. He's going home. He's gone home. So now we're going to hear the lovely Stephen doing the Braveheart speech. So this is what Mel Gibson would have sounded like if he were truly from Glasgow. Ready? Set. Go. Sons of Scotland, I am William Wallace. William Wallace is seven feet tall. Yes, I've heard. Kills men by the hundreds. And if he were here, he'd consume the English with fireballs from his eyes and bolts of lightning from his arse. I am William Wallace, and I see a whole army of my countrymen here in defiance of tyranny. You have come to fight as free men, and free men you are. What would you do without your freedom? Will you fight? Fight? Against that? No! We will run, and we will live. Aye, fight, and you may die. Run, and you'll live, at least a while and dying in your beds many years from now, would you be willing to trade all the days from this day to that for one chance, just one chance, to come back here and tell our enemies that they can take our lives, but they'll never take our freedom? Well, I hope you found that helpful. I just want to say a huge thank you to Stephen. You're welcome, Anna. And if you enjoyed that, then why not show us your thumb? Because I love a thumb. Weirdo. <laughs> Who doesn't love a thumb? Anyway, if you're not already a subscriber, please do press subscribe and the bell notification button next to subscribe so you don't miss any future lessons. And why not tell me in the comments box below which is your favourite accent? We've covered many accents in this series, so why not check out some of the others? They'll be listed in the description box below along with lots of other helpful links. Until next time, take care and goodbye. Bye. Cool. Done. Wrapped.